All right, today we're looking at the newest tool I have for the property management, cleaning up around this place. This is a steel MS-180C BE Easy Start. Let's take a look at it. As most of y'all know, I've tried to move over to battery tools for a lot of my stuff because, you know, didn't need it and I don't use chainsaws very much, but here's my Ryobi 40 volt. It's uh, still uses bar oil, but it has a 14 inch bar on it. Runs great, works great great i mean i have cut down a lot of big stuff with a 14 inch saw but out at our property i don't have power now i could put a big inverter to charge these 40 volt batteries but it really doesn't make sense for me to do that and leave the truck running and all that stuff so i started looking around doing reviews and stuff and this 16 inch steel is probably one of the best saws on the market it's an easy start model and you don't have to have tools everything's done by hand it's lightweight you know i'm not a kid anymore so i can run this thing for a long time and not have to worry about it the emissions on the steel saws are low um, and the price was right that's another thing when you go to buy a tool, you want a really good tool, but you don't have to pay really good tool prices. Y'all seen how easy it was to crank? You flip one switch on the back right here, and I'll, I'll pull the camera down and show you this. I always have earplugs in. I'm having trouble with my ears right now, so, and I wear earplugs, which is odd, but just one, you pull it up a little bit. That easy. So the easy start, and I'll show you about the chain here in just a minute but I want to go over the specs and this is not a sponsored video I bought this myself because I got to do a lot of property cleaning take these out so I can hear myself so this has an easy to start system with a quick chain adjuster has uh, an IntelliCarb so if the air cleaner gets dirty it'll it'll give it a little bit more fuel to compensate for it like I said, the quick chain adjuster, and I'll show you that here in just a second. The easy start. Now, I know y'all have seen two cycle engines where you have to sit there and just wail, wail on it for 20 minutes to get it cranked. This one you don't, supposedly. We're going to do a long-term review after I use it. So it is gas and oil mix, and uh, weighs 9.3 pounds, 16-inch bar. It has a... 3 8 PMM3 oilmatic chain. It holds 4.9 ounces of chain oil. It has two brake horsepower. It holds 8.5 ounces of fuel. And it's got a 31.8 cc engine. Uh, I always use safety equipment, safety glasses, hearing protection long pants when you run it uh, they recommend the chaps and everything i've never done that but if you feel comfortable doing that by all means uh, on the steel website they tell you how to service the the saw the whole bit and a part of the safety stuff let me lay this down unlike my ryobi my ryobi does not have a um, braking system like if it gets hit or something that shuts the chain off this one does this one will shut the chain off and so let's pull the camera down here and i'll show you some of the features on this and they do supply you with a, a blade guard so we'll put that back on so i don't cut myself and like i said this is the steel ms 180c be and right here is where you put your um, chain oil this is where you put your fuel and it's everything's labeled on it your starter mechanism your safety for your blade 
This is your throttle and your, I guess your, what you call a release for your throttle. And right here, this is your choke mechanism and your start position and cutoff. And uh, this is a screw, you turn this screw to be able to take this off to get to the air cleaner, air filter. It has a visible gauge here for your fuel. And it's got another one around here for your chain oil. And here's your muffler so you don't want to have your hand around that. It does have the uh, mini bar. Now I have seen where people are saying you need to go and replace this one with the, the bigger bar. But I don't think I'll have any trouble with it. And as for the chain, you have this mechanism here. Where you can take this off. You can clean everything. And you see you got your little uh, clutch mechanism, drive, drive sprocket, and the chain goes around. You can clean all this off. And what they recommend to do too is after you run it for quite a while, take a screwdriver or something and clean the, the uh, channel out on the bar and flip the bar over and run it on the other side so you, you don't get too much wear. And another thing this has, put this back on. I love that you don't have to have a wrench. Once you tighten it up, then you can have a micro adjustment on the chain right here. Let me loosen that up just a little bit. A little more. You have a micro adjustment on the chain so you can loosen or tighten it there. And there's all kind of different uh, theories on how tight you need to have it. You know, some people say you need it to come down an eighth of an inch or something, but I'll read the manual on it and read all the reviews and tell I've always just kept it pretty tight because there's nothing worse than that thing comes slinging off while you're trying to cut a piece of wood. But that is the 16 inch bar in the chain. All the safety mechanism and everything. And the thing about it I like, you don't have to have this wrench. Even though they bring, they give you one that has a screwdriver and a wrench and everything. They give you a operations manual. At least my, my dealer does. The dealer I buy from. Oh, it sounds bad. But um, they give you the spark plug wrench, a little screwdriver to tighten stuff up and clean out the little groove. And then you get a, a manual for it. Now another thing my steel dealer does, if you use the steel oil Make sure your gas, and they recommend ethanol free. They double the warranty. And then they gave me that. They gave me six bottles of oil that's good for six gallons of gas. So there you have it. The steel MS180C. And like I said, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not represented by steel. I wish I was, but one evening this week, we're going to go out on the property and I'm going to show you how good it runs. Going to do a little bit of clearing on front of the property. But if you got any questions or comments about this saw, if you have this saw and you like it or not, let me know. I don't, there is not a right answer to this. I mean, it's whatever, whatever you like. Um, so far, being able to crank it just really easy. It's and it's and it's not a it's not out of balance either. It's really easy to balance. This one. If you wouldn't believe it, with the battery is heavier than the gas saw. <laughs> it's a heavy, it's a heavy little saw. I hope to show you how good it runs. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. If you like this kind of content, let me know. I sure do appreciate all the comments I've had this week, and appreciate all the likes and subscriptions and all the views. So, well, that's going to be it for today. So like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.